Hello everyone, uh, today I'm happy to have Katie Robert with me uh, at Inbound Marketing Friends. Uh, she's the co-founder and CEO at Trust Insight, which is a consultancy that works with marketers using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Hello, Katie. Thank Hello. you for being here. Thank you for having me. So you're also the host of the podcast, which is In Here Insight. Yep. And the co-host of Punching Out podcast. Right. So the In Here Insights is the company podcast that we do once a week. And then Punching Out is another podcast that I do with another marketer where we talk with other marketers <laughs> about not marketing. Which is great. <laughs> which is fun. It's been a lot of fun. So I, I enjoy it a lot. Yes, that's great. Um, so today we're here to talk about artificial intelligence. Sure. Those for us marketers are big words, yes. scary words. <laughs> um, it just seems so big to us. So mm -hmm. would you mind telling us your definition of artificial intelligence? Absolutely. So artificial intelligence at the end of the day is math. And so it's based on a foundation of statistics and probability. And so if you know statistics, then you can start to really get um, educated on more advanced artificial intelligence, which again is just um, a series of math equations that you program to run independently, but it can only make decisions based on data that you give it. So how is it helpful for us marketers to use AI? So you're probably already using artificial intelligence and you may not even be aware of it. So um, if you've ever used Google Maps, you're using artificial intelligence, for example. Um, but in a marketing context, um, Google Analytics is based on artificial intelligence. So one, th one little tip that I like to give marketers is if you look in your Google Analytics account, um, on the top right hand side, there's a little insights button. And that's Google's AI saying, I've noticed these trends, I've noticed these patterns. Were you aware of this information with your own data? So you as the marketer may not be analyzing it that way, but Google is saying, but this is what I'm seeing. And again, it's limited to the data that it has. It can't make decisions outside of that, but it's trying to feed up some additional insights for you. That's very interesting. Do you have any um, simple use like that that you can share with us? Absolutely. I just gave a talk on five use cases. <laughs> you should. Um, one, of the, one of my favorite use cases for artificial intelligence is something called um, predictive analytics or predictive forecasting. And so essentially what you're doing is you're taking historical data that's already happened and you're running it through a AI algorithm. It's called an ARIMA model. And you're projecting it forward to understand the trends and timing of certain things. And so as a marketer, what you can do with that is plan out your content marketing to say, if I know I want to write about these three topics, yeah. when should I be writing about them so that when people are looking for that information, they're finding me. This is great. Um, how do you think IA will, AI, AI will evolve over the years? I think it's going to continue to automate repetitive tasks. That's one of the biggest questions I hear is, will artificial intelligence take my job? And so it's not going to take your job specifically, but it will automate specific tasks that are repetitive. So if you run a lot of the same report over and over and over again, it's a really great opportunity to introduce artificial intelligence so that you can focus on what do I do with the data or can I reconnect with my clients or other more valuable things than just generating a report. So it's supposed to make our life much easier. Supposed to, yes. <laughs> um, so will, do you think um, artificial intelligence will become more approachable? I do. I think that it's very slowly becoming more approachable. So there's a lot of, in every day, we're already using a lot of artificial intelligence and not really even being aware of it. Um, I used a lot of the Google Translate app before I came here because I don't speak any French, as you've all learned. Um, and so... What's interesting is that Google saw an opportunity because there's hundreds of different languages around the world. Yeah. And what it does is it will ingest the information it's getting. And then they created their own, what they call like the Google language, the AI. And then so they bring everything in, translate it through their own AI language, and then push it back out all in a matter of seconds. And so if you've ever been someplace where you don't speak the language, that's really helpful to have information for you right there and then. And so as marketers, 
we're making decisions all the time about where to spend money and how to engage with a customer. And so being able to utilize a tool that makes the decision-making process faster and more accurate is just that much better for everyone. Okay, last question. Do you have any tips on how to just get started? I do. So attending a conference like this one is a really great place to start because you're going to get a lot of people talking about here's what's happening in artificial intelligence now. Here's where marketing is going. Um, and I know that there's the inbound conference in Boston that's going to come up this summer. Um, I would say look into HubSpot certifications. They have a lot of free certifications. Google has a lot of free certifications. IBM, if you're looking for something more advanced, has a lot of free certifications. Sign up for newsletters that talk about artificial intelligence. Small plug, my company newsletter does that, trustinsights.ai slash newsletter. <laughs> um, we publish once a week every Wednesday, but we curate content from around the globe to help people see here's what's happening with marketing and data science and machine learning. Okay. Well. I guess I'll get started now. <laughs> get started right away. Thank you very much for being here and taking the time to answer our questions. Thank you so much. It was fun.